All right, guys, Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to me. Let's see what's under this thing. And here we go. Moon Cool. TK1 trike. Thank you, Moon Cool. I'm just going to cut these off. Interesting, it has these uh, unhooked clamps that have, uh, like TVs use, a lot of TVs, uh, I know my LG TV, I kept that box, it has these kind of things too. Um, it's kind of nice because you don't tear the whole box. We're going to get involved here and see how it looks. It's packaged exceptionally nice. It's very cool this way because now you really get to see what it's packaged like. It says it's 90 pounds. Mm, I believe it, but you know, I've gotten stronger recently. <laughs> it didn't feel like 90 to me. Seen this charger before. In fact, I think I have one. Big, heavy, and I think it's a two amp, but it's a big, heavy one. Yep, two amp. So it's a 48 volt, uh, two amp charger. By 48 volts, it says 54 point. I think six. I think whatever it is, six. 54.6 volt charger. Uh, which is a 48 volt charger. So you guys know I'm a big boy, right? 511, 265. Uh, <laughs> the seat, I think, I think Mooncool sent me a special seat, guys. <laughs> they know my size, and that seat is a behemoth. It is a big seat. Uh, not complaining. Uh, and I, they didn't send me a special seat, guys. This is a seat they put on all of them. Um, so if you're thin, it's a good seat for you. If you're thick, like me, it's a good seat for you. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm not going to hold you guys up on all this... Uh, Clearing of the packages. They give you a bike and you never know what color it is. They actually uh, discuss it with us. What color would you like? What color would you prefer? And uh, I thought a white trike would be really nice. Would show ladies and men that, you know, a neutral color like white on a trike looks really good and I thought that uh, this would be a neutral color for you and if you wanted to go with uh, say the cyan green or or any other color they offer I know they offer a red or orange and uh, that, that you know you would have that ability to change up as you as you want but I thought white was uh, a very nice color to start with. Don't touch this ring. If you touch the ring, touch it with uh, some kind of cloth with alcohol on it to clean it off. 180 millimeter uh, rotor, metal fenders, very nice, painted nice. Uh, automo automobile uh, quality, close. Uh, this is pearl, so it has some flake in it. Not just plain old white. Now, if you were in a hurry, you would take this battery out and start charging it. Uh, I'm not in a hurry. 
because I'm probably not going to ride this until tomorrow uh, due to weather. I think tomorrow's a little better than today. All right, now, I think for the most part, I've got the bulk of the ordinary plastic on, or packing on. Now, ordinarily, you see me lift this up and do how I do my uh, putting the front wheel on and stuff like that. I'm going to do this one a little differently. On this one, I think I've got the ability to lift it up, flip it over, kind of set it on its backside like that. And I'm going to leave this in here because that will kind of holds it up. Now I'm going to take this off and I'll put the front wheel on. So these are hydraulic brakes. So they should be a little pad in here. And there it is. Then you get your manual, some other stuff, light extension to go out to the uh, end of the basket. The important piece for this part is this here. Uh, also, the thickness of this is like a two by three. Two inches here, three inches there, or something like that. It feels really good. The paint job is phenomenal, guys. Really a good paint job. All right. So this will go on this way here because the caliper is over here. Hydraulic brakes on a trike, guys. Now, my assumption is it goes this way. But remember the old rule with the, with the springs, the cone goes inward. The small side of the cone goes inward. Just kind of screw it on a little bit. Very nice and easy. And I like that. Nicely done. Now I can put the bike back down, the truck back down and finish it off. She's beautiful. Moon cool. I don't usually curse a lot on my channel, but damn, it looks good. It's cute. A few things. There are some tools in here that Moon Cool gives you. I'm going to take this inside the house and read it too. But here's the extension for your light. And it should plug in here, yeah, right there, see? Um, they give you a couple of zip ties for it to tie it onto the basket or the rack as you move it forward. And I like that they gave you just enough tools. Not, not not 50 tools for 50 different things, just the tools to assemble it. It's all you need. Typically these uh, bikes and trikes hold together pretty well. Uh, I've had well over 30 now, somewhat over 30 bikes, trikes, and uh, scooters. And uh, I've only had three that needed more work. Uh, to get them to run properly. And those were mostly um, controller issues. I've never had uh, a battery issue like that. Uh, nothing like that, just, uh, just uh, three controllers on three different manufacturers. I take that back, two controllers and a sensor, a pedal sensor. Not a big deal on a pedal sensor, real easy. Uh, not a big deal on the, on the controllers either, that's pretty good too. All right, so now we're gonna put the fender on. It's 
So if you're elderly or you bought this for an elderly person, um, maybe with the exception of an elderly female, uh, fairly easy to put together. And I'm just thinking of an elderly female, not that they can't do it. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but some of the weights are heavier. Uh, maybe some of the mechanics on some ladies might not uh, want to do it or like doing it. I mean, I can tell you this. My wife's in her 60s, quite capable of doing any of this work. It's not her thing. My wife would rather build a house or or things like that, or drywall work, or tile work, or anything like that. Now, a lot of manufacturers will say it's 95% put together. And in my opinion, in reality, there may be 97% put together. All you gotta do is put the front wheel on front fender, and that's usually it. This one's 95% for sure, because you gotta put a front rack on, uh, a front basket on, If, if you want them. All right. So everything's on. Now, now we can put the basket on. Or the rack, I mean. And I will put the rack on like so. So what this hook is for is basically to grab the wires and hold them up against the bike. So they're not flopping everywhere. Now I know I'm showing you a lot of this work. A lot of people don't do that. Um, I do it because I think it's important for some people to know how to do it. Because some people are like me. They don't want to read directions. They'd rather watch a video. <laughs> That's me. I'd rather watch a video to do it. All right, now we're going to put the, the uh, basket on. I was wondering where I put the basket. Well, my tools are sitting on the basket. And this is a number four uh, millimeter Allen. And that's the one I've used for everything so far. Uh, a four, I think, and a five. But the four has been the most utilized one so far. All right, so most people seem to put the light up like this. Yeah, most people put the light in like this. For some reason, I want to put it in upside down like so. Just to be different. I know it's upside down, guys. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like it upside down. Now I'll take this film off. There we go. I think the only thing I have left, guys, plug the light in, put the straps on. These have specialty markers. There's a little knit there and a, and a pop out here. Line those up. There that is. And we'll bring this over to here. Same routine, line the nicks up. Now the only other thing I gotta do is 
put the zip ties on and clip them. All right, I think I'm done with the exception of charging the battery. Let's charge her up and wait for this to turn green. All right, guys, the build is complete. The trike is ready to roll. Uh, charged the battery, uh, took maybe five hours yesterday. Um, and then I unplugged it overnight. We're ready to go. I did notice uh, I tried to turn it on yesterday. It did not turn on. And I'm gonna show you what it is. So we're gonna come up to the display and we're gonna try to turn it on. As you can see, nothing happens. In shipping, sometimes this happens it happens uh, more often than you would think. So what you gotta do is come over here and look at your wiring coming from the display. And you'll find that in this one, this came apart. And that's kind of typical because, you know, this is moving around, this is all tight. Um, it, you know, in the, all the bikes I've had, this has happened, oh, maybe six or seven times. Maybe five times, but uh, once we get it back together, she should start back up. And there we go, connected. All right, so now we'll just try to turn it on and she comes right up. All right, so the display, pretty simple basic display. This display seems to be on a lot of bikes and trikes, a very similar display anyway. And so we have, uh, one, two, three, four, five assist levels. We have uh, distance, speed, battery. Uh, this is already set in miles. That's very nice. You don't have to worry about that and, and what your power is. Um, set pretty nice, actually. All right, I'm gonna leave the, the keys on it. Don't need those off right now. Uh, but that's what she looks like. I'll take pictures of each and every item because uh, that's just the way I do my videos. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is I put the light up high. I know I put it here and I know it can go down here, but I want mine to look downward a little bit. So that's why I move mine to a different spot. Beautiful bike. Okay, let's turn on the lights. Here's the horn. Oh, it's very soft. It's a trail horn. Not going to bother a lot of things, actually. It's very quiet. That's the left blinker. That's the right blinker. Then we'll turn on the brake. That's what the brake looks like. Very nice. Man, the brakes are uh, a lot of light. A lot of lights on the back. Now, if we have a blinker on and we hit the brakes, the blinker still blinks, so that's really good. All right, and now we will turn on the front light. So the front light, there we have it. That's all the lights on right now. On just like you'd have it when you're riding uh, at dusk for early morning. And let's take a look here. Outer lights come on for the back. And I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty light out right now. Um, but that's the headlight right there. Sorry, guys. But it's kind of where I want it, actually. I might move it down a little bit more. Yeah, that's kind of how I want it. It looks good. Yeah, I like it down instead of up. I, I, just me. Uh, others might not, but I like it like that. All right. Now we're going to take it for a spin, and we'll test everything out and see how it goes. All right, let's take her for a ride. Let's, ooh, she feels pretty good. I'm in uh, PAS zero, and there is no power unless I pedal. Then there's some power to it. Very nice, actually. Uh, I didn't put air in the tires. I do need to put air in the tires. Now we're going to go to... So just, just pedaling in no PAS level whatsoever, it, uh, it rides quite nicely. Uh, not impossible to ride. 
Now we're going to put it in PAS1. That's power one. And she's got some jump. And so we're going to come around the corner here. And we're going to see... I'm just pedaling normal. I'm not, not working hard. And uh, she is running right at seven and a half miles an hour. Now we're going to go straight up into PAS2. And uh, she jumps to 9.3. Now we're going to go to PAS3, PAS3 is 11.2, uh, PAS4, hopefully I can get it before I have to turn around, is 13.1, very good. Alright, now I'm going to apply the brakes. And the brakes work very, very well. Uh, as you turn, it's not bad. Um, I lean into the turn just so, uh, just what I'm used to. And now we're going to go to PAS5, and we're pedaling, and we're going to see what it sh what she does in PAS5. PAS5 pedaling. Fifteen point five, according to the speedometer, and I've heard that it does sixteen if you GPS it. It feels it feels pretty good actually. It feels faster than some of the other stuff I have that says fifteen for sure. All right, I'm I'm applying the brake, and now we're going to do the same thing except no pedal. Uh, let's go. Yeah, this is as flat as you can get it now. 15 no pedal, all throttle, uh, it doesn't matter, she gives you everything she got. So if you're throttling, oh, throttle only is giving me 16. And it doesn't matter what PAS level I'm in, I'm getting 16 miles an hour. Alright, so that's how she works. She works pretty good. And uh, on a trike, I would say an elderly person doesn't want to go a lot faster than that. Uh, I'm trying not to lean and see what it feels like. Uh, it's stable enough. It is definitely stable enough. But uh, <laughs> a little bit weird doing that. So I'm going to move the camera over a little bit and try to give you a little bit of a side view. And let's see how this works here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that for you. All right, now let's go, and we'll pedal it. And we're gonna pedal in a slower speed because we wanna talk a little bit. So one of the things I notice with a lot of people, uh, the only real complaint I've seen is that there is no brake lock. There's no way to put the brakes on uh, while it's standing still at a hill or whatever. Well, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go down to the end of the road and I will put on what I'll show you is a very nice uh, way to to do that. So we're uh, in the 40s right now. It's pretty cold. Uh, I think 50 is going to be our high today, but that's okay. Um, this is this. So so the other thing I told you, I had three trikes. This is the third trike. The first trike was a mid-drive, fine enough bike. Uh, I think it did 20 miles an hour, didn't feel any faster than this, but it didn't feel as good as this. And then I got another trike that I reviewed. Well, I didn't review it actually. I, I didn't review it. I just uh, unboxed it, assembled it, did the video, looked at it and said, this is not for older people. Uh, one, instructions on putting it together. Uh, you yeah, almost had to be a mechanic. <laughs> and there were so many pieces. Uh, it came at about 20% um, mm, assembled. You had to do the rest. And it was just a nightmare. And I thought to myself, no one can do this. No elderly person can do this. So... Uh, I was, and it took me three hours, three and a half hours, so I was pretty tired of that. 
And then by the time I got it all edited, I was like, no, this ain't the bike for anybody. So I told the manufacturer, I said, I'm going to put it out there and you're going to live with the consequences. Or, uh, you know, I'll just keep it in my arsenal for some later point. Uh, and I, I, I've kept it in private, uh, but it is not a good trike. This trike is a great trike. Uh, for the little bit I rode it, for how easy it was to assemble, this is a really good trike. Really good trike. Uh, and uh, hydraulic brakes at least 15 and a half miles an hour, more than you need to go uh, on a trike. Um, throttle, re throttle response is really good. Let's see how the uh, how the throttle is uh, from, from a dead stop. Very nice. Uh, you can feel your, um, your front end shocks uh, coming up. I don't know if you guys can see it with the 3D. Anyway, let me show you my thoughts on if you're on a hill. Uh, I want to give you the dimension of that too. <laughs> I left uh, some foam on that. But uh, it's, it's a beautiful bike, man trike bike it's it's uh, certainly um the best by far not even not even on the same planet of the three i've had moon cool did a great job designing it figuring it all out and giving you a great product for its price now this here this little rapid i get nothing from these guys i bought them myself just a couple weeks ago for for keeping my battery lines, uh, you know, because I got so many bikes, keeping the batteries all tied up and stuff like that. But just take one of these. This is the shorter one that they have, nine inches or something, eight inches. Just pull it around here. Hold your brake in. Do this. Tighten it up. Wrap it. Now your, your bike's not going to go anywhere on a hill. If you said, man, I just don't trust one of them. Hey, they come eight to 12 to a box. Take another. Put, squeeze the brake. I'm not doing this correctly. Here, this way. Take this, hold it here, squeeze the brake, wrap it. There you go. Now the bike's not going to go anywhere with those on it. And you can tie those to your, you can Velcro them to your rack if you want. Um, yeah, very nice bike. Hydraulic brakes. Uh, let me look name brand on them is i don't know what they are uh in m something i don't know they they break just fine um the motor is uh right underneath where you sit right behind the battery and it's a 48 volt uh 500 watt uh motor um and uh, it's it's a it's a hub motor actually. You can see where the it's supposed to be used with uh, uh, on uh, on a wheel on the back wheel. So it's not a big deal. The way they designed it and the way they got it going, it looks really good. It's well uh, designed, well conceived. Um, uh, they they've made it very nice. As you can see, what it looks like right now, it looks really good, man. This this bike looks this trike looks really really good. There's a little uh, latch right there for uh, adding a trailer to, uh, which is another reason. Uh, typically, I you know uh, I think I'm too young at 66 for a product like this, but uh, this one is so well thought out and so uh, good. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I have two grandchildren uh, now. One is two and one has just been born. <clears throat> Thank you. And uh, I'm going to get a trailer for it and uh, haul them around on this in the trailer when they're certainly uh, three, four, something like that. Four and six or whatever. Anyway, these tires take 35 pounds of PSI pressure in them. They're Chow Yang. Very nice tires. Um, my thought on them is uh, 35, I usually put 90%, so I'll probably put 32 pounds of pressure in them and uh, start there. Uh, double baskets, a rear basket, a front basket. Uh, front shocks, you don't find that a lot on trikes anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just real well built. The TK1 from Mooncool. 
yeah, really nice. Uh, the other thing, it is a completely folding bike. You can fold this up. You can see right here, folding just like any other folding bike. The handlebars come down. You can actually raise the handlebars if you want a little more. Whatever you're comfortable with, the clamp here, the clamp here clamps it down to, to fold it away. Uh, if you think, wow, it's just a little too far forward for you, you can uh, come in here. There's a lot of room here, four inches or so. You can pull that back and, and make it come back a little closer to you if you're a shorter armed person or shorter challenged person. Uh, you know, don't give me grief on being short challenged. I'm, I'm big challenged. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, beautiful bike, man. This is beautiful. I want to thank the person at Mooncool, um, and she knows who she is, for reaching out to me and uh, getting it to me. And this is just part of the, the review. This bike will get ridden. Uh, this trike will get ridden in the spring, in the summer. I hope to ride it again uh, real soon, maybe just after the first of the year. Uh, but And maybe one more before Christmas. I don't know. It all depends on our weather. We have had an atmospheric uh, river coming through uh, Oregon. And we've had just a ton of rain. Uh, over a 90-mile stretch, four inches. Uh, you think about that. You, you, you separate the numbers out of the Columbia River. It's basically turning the Columbia River upside down and pouring all that water uh, on our state and the state of Washington. So a whole lot of water. All right, hydraulic brakes work good. Fenders are metal. Um, battery is a 48 volt, uh, 14 amp battery. Plenty of juice to get you around. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get on it and ride it again. And we'll take it home. We'll take some photos of it. And uh, yeah, the other thing I wanna talk about is the seat. This seat, I didn't even notice it when I was riding it, how comfortable it was. A lot of times you'll say, oh, you know, uh, it's a narrow seat, it's a small seat. This is a big seat. And, uh, yeah, I think Mooncool made it just for me. <laughs> anyway, let's get riding. Uh, great ride, man. This is nice. This is nice. Now I'm going to step back on. Actually, before I even step on the bike, I'm just going to take my wraps. I'm going to keep these wraps here because I've got plenty of them. I mean, I got plenty of them. <laughs> I'll just take, wrap this one up here. And if I lost them, if someone came and stole them or something, yeah, big deal. If you can't afford the 50 cents or the buck a piece, uh, you're welcome to have them. But uh, at a buck a piece, these are pretty nice, I think. There we go. There we go. Good enough for now. Um and let's get riding yeah it's got a little protector there for your um for all your lower components all your all the in intricacies of the bike so if you can't get past that little that guard i wouldn't go over it um because you got a lot of stuff back there you got a motor motor mount uh your sprocket uh your your hydraulic disc uh rotor yeah, so use that as your, your hey, I'm not going over anything that's taller than that. Uh, just because your front tire can go over it, if that can't hop it, don't do it. Yeah. Uh, throttle bike, fantastic. Uh, this is the kind of trike everyone should be offering. No one should be giving you a throttle bike or a non-throttle uh, e-bike for people over, um, really over 60 just doesn't make sense to me. Mooncool thought it out. So let's go. Yeah, man, this is this is torquey little guy, man. I don't know if you can see it from the 3D camera. Uh, let's point it down a little bit, see if you can see it. Uh, let's go out here. It's hard because the, uh, the little uh, locking mechanism here isn't the best. I didn't put my good one on. But watch, watch the front lift. I don't know if you can see that. It does have a lockout on them. There we go. All right. And we'll keep, we're just going to throttle up here, and we're not going to do anything. We'll just throttle up. And uh, 
you know, some of these bikes slow down quite a bit going up this hill. And this is still doing 14.1, 14.2. Uh, yeah, this, this didn't even lose a mile an hour, guys. Because here's the steepest part. Right at 15. And the top speed throttle is 16. So uh, we're at the higher part, part, and it did not lose a lot of energy. So, yeah, it can go up uh, decent-sized hills. Yeah, it's not uncomfortable at all. The, 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 and it does have the same trike feel. When you come around a corner, it kind of uh, tips you a little bit, makes you kind of feel awkward. But I think that's just a matter of getting used to. I don't think it's anything big at all. All right, we're going to go down to the mailbox. No, actually, let's just turn here. Now, it turns very nice, very clean. Uh, I'll take you on the side of the house and around. Uh, probably won't be getting any of that uh, 360 footage because it's wiggling quite a bit. But we'll see. Hey, we'll just come up into the grass here. Now, ruddy, you talk about ruddy. There ain't nobody that's got... Uh, grass like I have grass or lack of it or whatever the voles I don't know if you guys can see it uh, yeah you'll see it from uh, the 3d camera I'll try to show you a little bit of what I deal with all the time right here you can see that they're everywhere dude here I'll show you how great they are at digging look at that place they rutted that out like crazy yeah I just don't know what to do with them man they're everywhere in, in my outer lawn very interesting. Uh, yeah, and I take my I take my uh, my tractor out here and I flatten all the hills, and it seems like at least that's not don't coming back. So those are are managed, but they don't get into the inner lawn. And uh, I got these little things out here that make noise, and they don't seem to come close to that. Uh, sorry for getting off topic. That's not the, not what this video is about anyway. Let's uh look look I can uh, uh, this is a hmm, I think this is six feet no this is an eight foot eight foot uh, space here so I'm at I'm at about seven feet and I'm going to turn it hard and yeah it can take a tight circle off that one wheel if you needed to. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I think I'm in love with this trike. Uh, no, there's no question I'm keeping the trike. This trike is not going to get sold off uh, like the other two because uh, it's just the perfect trike for my family. And uh, like I said, the person at Mooncool, she knows who she is. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some videos out for her and uh, some photos and some some other stuff and and hopefully uh, they'll be pleased with this uh, review and product and I, I don't I, you know I'm not trying to tell you you know one thing that's bad it don't have brake uh, locks that's that's not a big deal to me uh, everything else uh, the three inch wheels the three inch wide tires are perfect uh, if they were four inch would I like it any better uh, I don't think so uh, it's a compact uh, trike so I don't think I would like it any better uh, assembly was great, and uh, this has a lot of useful purposes. If I had good grass and not so many bulls, I would use it for like taking stuff out there and fertilizing or whatever, uh, rather than the big old tractor or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's this is nice. This is nice. I don't know if I don't think the the that would go over there. So. All right, let's ride down to the end of the block and then turn around and come back. So you can see, she takes off pretty good. She takes off pretty good. 16.2, that's as fast as I've seen her go. And uh, this, is, this is legit, uh, if anything, slightly, slightly uphill. 
yeah, I'm going to take this to the church and stuff too uh, in the, in the, on a nice warmer day. This is fun. Not my church, the church I ride to, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now we'll, we'll, we'll go back. See, this is a nice thing to bring if I know I have packages too because it's got a lot of carriers. Yep, 16, slightly, slightly uphill right now. Yeah, this is this is great. Highly recommend, guys. Uh, only thing I can't tell you about uh, is longevity. How long will this bike uh, trike uh, go without problems? I don't know that. Uh, I know the people at Moonpool. Uh, the person that uh, mailed this to me. I know she's quite nice and 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 quite giving. And if their if their customer service is as good as their um, their media people, uh, the marketing people, that'd be great. So I'm just pushing backwards to, to get it to go back out of the garage. There we go. Um, if 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 their if their people See, so we don't deal typically when you when you're a reviewer, you don't typically deal with customer service. You deal with your your handler, your YouTube handler, or your social media handler. And like, if I had a problem, I I email my social media handler, and she would take care of it. Uh, that's just I think the way it is. Um, but if you need customer service, if uh, they're as good as she is. Uh, you'll, you'll, you, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. This is a great bike for the price. Yeah. And so try to get it before Christmas guys, because this is a great Christmas present. Your spouse will love you if they're looking for a trike, uh, to get, this is the trike to get. All right. I'm home. Now let's hit the light. Click. There's the light. Yes. Turn it off. We'll turn the display off. It's very nice, guys. It's very nice. Um, I don't need to to lock the brake or anything. It's just going to sit here. Um, beautiful, beautiful, great job, Moon Cool. Great job.